Good morning, guys. Oh, bless you. No, but I won't. As of yesterday, I officially changed my flight to Thursday, so I leave tomorrow. So this is my last day to get everything done. I went ahead and did my nails last night, and I was gonna vlog it, but um, if you guys saw my other vlog, you know how it said no glue needed, so I've never s bought those nails. I must have got them by accident. I didn't really have to do what I usually have to do. Like, I literally just had to peel the back and stick it on, do barely any shaping. And I don't know, I'll keep you updated on how long it lasts. But anyways, I'm going to get to work. I have some editing to do from the last shoot, which was the pool party shoot. And then I have a whole lot of planning to do for LA. Yeah, I'm also going to pack everything for LA, London, and Italy. And I'll show you how I do that. My packing has gotten pretty good over the years. I, I like never traveled. So I went from never traveling to traveling all the time. So when it started, there were so many things that like even just going to the airport was so scary. Like all these things were so scary. I didn't really know how to pack. And now I'm just like packing expert traveling genius. I also wanted to include this part in the vlog that because I was going to start the vlog yesterday, but I just didn't want to start the vlog off on a bad foot. Like not a bad foot, but I didn't want to start the vlog off crying. But I do want to include this clip because like, you know, though I feel better right now and I'm having a good day right now, of course I'm so grateful for this life that I have and these experiences that I have and the fact that I can sit here and vlog like a pack with me for LA video. I love traveling. I love my life. I really do. I'm grateful. But I'll just insert the clip now instead of me trying to explain the clip. I constantly have to remind myself to be grateful for the life that I have and the experiences that I have and really take it all in and know that everything is temporary but man sometimes it just feels like I am in a long distance relationship with every single person in my life and I know I haven't really talked about it on here much but I am in a long distance relationship which is why I spend so much time traveling though I miss him so much and I can't wait to be with him again and be reunited in like a couple days. I was just like having a moment in my room with Pippa, like holding her, and I just couldn't stop crying. Like could not stop and it, you know, felt good to cry and like acknowledge that I'm gonna miss so many people. I'm constantly missing someone. Ugh. And I just feel like it's a big lesson for me that I'm going to get better and better at. But I'm just constantly missing people. If I'm not missing my boyfriend, I'm missing my family and my pets and my friends. <sighs> I'm just always missing people. This is just part of my journey and I don't know why. And maybe I really wanted to learn this lesson and, you know, really just being independent and I'm constantly having to practice non-attachment. When it comes to the week before a trip or the week when I'm about to leave, like that is my reality. I'm just living almost like a double life and I'm just constantly missing someone. I feel like it's just one of those things where like maybe the grass always seems greener. Like I could sit here and tell you like if you get to see your family and your boyfriend and your friends whenever you want, like really take that shit in because i never really get to experience that it's always like like this double life like i said and not all my people in one place it's like i have these people and these people and they're so far apart it's definitely a learning curve that comes with this way of living but anyways let me get to work and we will catch up later. This angle, we're not gonna talk about it, okay? I just want to kind of show you how I pack, but anyways, it's almost 8 p.m. and I have not packed yet. What I have done though is I will basically in sections, like shirts, pants, dresses, workout, whatever, I put everything that I want to bring. It's always way too much stuff. And then I use these packing cubes, which my Aunt Lisa got for me. <laughs> Thank you so so much Lisa these have changed my life this is the biggest one there is these little like things which I guess I'll use just to like help I'm gonna use this one for pants so I'll show you how I do it I think pants and skirts and shorts just all bottoms so look how cute this skirt is I wore it in New York City 
I am so obsessed. Obviously, I picture this in Italy. <laughs> Durr. Okay, this is what you do. You roll her up. There we go. Cute, nice. And like, obviously start with must have. Start with like the things that you specifically bought for this trip or like the outfits that you're like, yes, this needs to come with me. And then when there's extra room, you can add other things. This way. And then just like that, all my pants are in here. And then unpacking when we go to these like Airbnbs or wherever we're staying, I can just put this like in the drawer and out of my suitcase and I feel like I've unpacked without unpacking. So on to the next. I think the second big one, I have a lot of workout stuff. This is like the next biggest pile. Actually no, tops is the biggest pile. Plus a blazer. Let's do tops. Definitely need her. Now let's attempt dresses. This is the biggest one. I should have packed it first, but... Done. Work out time. Next, PJs. Okay, that one was socks and undies and bra. So I just went ahead and did that. Done. Okay, and then this one, which you can hang. I usually like to put bikinis. These are all the bathing suits I'm bringing. Almost every single one is night swim, and I'm bringing a ton more that are unopened, but I usually just shove them in there. Gorgeous. And then it also comes with this little laundry bag, which is so useful to just put dirty clothes as the trip goes on to know what I need to wash. But anyways, look how easy. Now I just put all this in my luggage. I'm so tired. Okay, let's do shoes and everything else. I'll just quickly show everything. So I also got these bags to pack my shoes. And that's like a little display in the corner. And then the So here are all the bikinis that I'm bringing for us to shoot in. And I think I'm gonna put them in a shoe bag. Nice. So these little travel things also come with this, which I use for like oh, makeup and toiletry bag. I have another toiletry bag, but just so you can see, everything's in my suitcase and there's enough room right here for my makeup, my other toiletry bag, toothbrush, all that stuff. And then literally, like, the way all of that fit, I did not think. Every time, now that I use these packing bags, this is not an ad. I told you, my Aunt Lisa got these for me, I think for Christmas. They are so good. Like I never thought I'd be able to not have to like sacrifice with what I want to bring because there's not enough room. Okay, so I finally have my whole suitcase and backpack packed. I have been so emotional all night. Like basically the clip that I posted at the beginning of this vlog of me being emotional and just knowing how I'm gonna miss everybody. 
just came up really really strong with my dog and the thing is even if I could bring her like even if she was a service animal and I could bring her which I am definitely doing that once I get home like I'm getting on it enough is enough but most of these trips we go to like two three places at a time and I just wouldn't want to bring her for that I would want to bring her when I know we're staying put one day she will travel with me and I won't feel this way anymore butt mask this and there's you can exfoliate your butt with it there's exfoliants in it oh my god trying usa snacks <laughs> veggie puffs i've never seen that before organic olive oil are they gonna be wet are they oh, gonna be so wet <laughs> they're all oily yeah this just all okay <laughs> of the same brand we are going to the movie theaters tonight we are Oh my god, we still watch Atlanta. Yeah, Gabby's oh forcing god. me to watch Atlanta. Atlanta? I love Atlanta. You know, yeah, actually. I've totally seen it. Please tell me you've seen Atlanta. That's not a documentary? Fire! <laughs> I'm kind of down. No, you're, Imagine. You're probably gonna cry because you're gonna be like, I can't believe I went so long not watching this. It's literally the best movie I've ever seen. It's so me, so my personality. Like, I'm actually shocked to ever seen Oh my god. Also, uh, do you use this snail mucin? No, I was gonna buy it. It's fucking awesome. Use yeah? this tomorrow. But it's literal snail goo. Like, it's okay. Like, it's like secretion <laughs> from snails. <laughs> you take the snail and you go squeeze it I don't know. into the jar. I don't know, but that's what it is. Do they have snail farms? They must. But it's like, look at the texture of it. No, I almost right? bought it on Amazon the other day. Even just the way it looks, it looks nice. The packaging. Look at that. It's oh like goodness. cheese pizza, like it like pulls, like it's so goopy. I'm just gonna put this on my neck for now. <gasps> okay. Does it have eyes? I also can't <sighs> open mine. I don't know why I'm having such a hard time. <gasps> oh my thing. god. <laughs> I'm so excited. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> no. This is the best day of my life. Okay. This is gonna look, this looks like human skin. I'm not gonna lie, this is creeping me out. It's kind of giving me claustrophobia. It's okay, you can do it. I know what you mean, it's hard at first. Yeah. To the I'm not gonna be able to focus on the movie with this on. I may have to wait till it's done to start the movie. Wait, do you have a timer? How long has it been on? How long has it been on? 15 minutes? Oh my god. Whoa. Look at no, my it's mouth. It's terrifying. It's terrifying. 
Yeah. We just need to get our picture and then we have to get this the fuck off of yeah, face. Let's go. No, that's a hefty Is amount it? of oatmeal. Yeah, like just the containers making it look. Like I have oatmeal every morning. I don't have this much. What is it? I don't know. It smells kind of weird. It's butter. Oh, it's I'm just butter? making butter. <laughs> Why would they give me butter? I don't know. That doesn't make sense. Okay. came to the Griffith Griffith <laughs> Observatory to look at the Hollywood sign and also get photos but she's kind of a wee bit little baby she's really far away but any of those hikes that lead to her are at least two hours so there's just one meal not enough hours in the day so it's not gonna happen so I took a few you'll see them oh we had the culture back <laughs> that's where we came from Hi guys, happy Sunday. I don't remember the last thing I vlogged. I feel like I mainly vlogged on Friday and not much Saturday, but Saturday was our night swim shoot with the photographer and models in Venice. And it was so sunny and beautiful since I got here and the day of the photo shoot, it was pretty cloudy and freezing cold. Regardless, it was a really good shoot. Gabby left, her flight was this morning, Van, came to the photo shoot and he helped us out a bunch and now I'm with him, I'm at his place. Yeah, I'm also being quiet because he's sleeping because again, I'm still not adjusted so I'm just up super early in the morning. I wanted to finish this vlog or end this vlog off here and start fresh. So I hope you enjoyed and I will see you in the next one.